I'm Mr. Rutzard here again. Uh, I'm going to continue with balancing reactions. We're going to do a formation reaction. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. These ones are fairly simple to balance. Uh, again, uh, when I start, I'm just going to write down my coefficient or a spot where I can put my coefficient. And again, this has to be a whole number. Uh, also, I'm going to write down all of the elements that I have on each side of the equation. And how many we have? So on this side, I have two lith, or sorry, I have one lithium, and I have two chlorines. And on this side, I have one lithium, and I have one chlorine. Uh, and again, remember um, that uh, any metal is going to be monoatomic, and any um, any halogen is going to be diatomic. So that's why chlorine uh, exists in two. Okay, and then of course ionic compound we just have to make sure that the uh, ions are balanced all right so how are we going to balance this well I look first my lithium I have one here one here my lithiums are balanced let's keep working from left to right chlorine I have two here and on this side I only have one the only way that I can make that two is to write a coefficient in front remember I can't write a subscript over on the other side because that will make this unbalanced so now I have two chlorines on this side, but now that's giving me two lithiums on this side. So in when I wrote this coefficient, it balanced my chlorine, but it imbalanced my lithium. So all I have to do is go back and recheck. And if I write a two on this side over here, now I should have everything balanced. This is a very simple one to look at. Um, again, just take your time to go through them uh, and uh, practice these. All right, tune into my other videos. Uh, I'm going to do a single replacement, double replacement. I also have one on combustion. And uh, take a look at those. And um, again, just practice, practice. And we will see you in class. Science.